Today we're gonna to be talking about some drills that will make you a great wide receiver. Now this first drill is going to help wide receivers with their crossover off the line of scrimmage. So let's say for example, I'm lined up here and let's say I have a DB who's like inside shade press, balls over there, and I wanna run a fade route, right? My goal on this fade route is not to just take off and run and let him force me to the sideline. My goal would be to make him think that I'm trying to break his leverage and go inside to move him to give me more space to the outside. So a release I can use for that would be a crossover release. So I would step in the direction I'm going first it's a short step. I'm shooting it into the grass and I'm pushing off of it and selling the second move. So that's what this drill is going to work on with this like cone line, if you will. So we got one, two, three, four, five cones. So it's one, two, three, four separate crossover cuts. You're gonna be doing three sets of this on each side. So what you're gonna do, hands, feet working like so. Make sure we're not standing up in the air. We have a slight forward lean, chest is slightly ahead of your waist and it's just gonna be left, right, coming back out. Left, right, coming back out. And we're gonna repeat the process two more times. At the end of this cone, when we go left, right, you're gonna burst off of this foot and accelerate upfield. So we're gonna show you how this should look full speed, but this is a great drill to work on your crossover off the line. Now also, fellas, if you are a receiver watching this and you would like to train with myself and my staff of coaches, we are gonna be traveling out to 15 different cities this off season for two day long QB and wide receiver training camp. So guys, check out that very first link in the description below if you are interested. We're gonna be coming out to San Francisco, then we'll be heading out to Orlando, Florida, Phoenix, Arizona, Charlotte, North Carolina, Austin, Texas, Texas. They'll be coming out to Las Vegas, Nevada, Seattle, Washington, Newark, New Jersey, Chicago, Illinois. They'll be heading out to Birmingham, Alabama, Houston, Texas, Boston, Massachusetts, Columbus, Ohio, Boise, Idaho, and finishing off our tour in Los Angeles, California. So guys, you want some more info? Again, very first link in that description below. We'd love to have you there. <laughs> Now this next drill is going to be our snap, fall, heel elevated drill to help wide receivers prevent knee injuries. So a lot of times and you see a lot, especially in the NFL, college ball, when receivers injure their knee, they might be running with the ball, they might be running a route, and when they cut, they reach very far outside of their frame and their heel is the first part of their foot to hit the ground. So the issue is when you're running with that kind of speed and you have a little bit of body weight, not necessarily the young guys, but young guys doing this habit over and over again, they may not hurt their knee, but it can weaken their knee, it can weaken the ligaments, it can weaken the different muscles around their knee and that could lead to an injury in the future but guys will be running and they will reach when they cut maybe because they're trying to over exaggerate the cut maybe it's a habit and when your heel hits the ground and your toe slaps down you could hyper extend and that could lead to a very very bad problem with your knee so whenever we cut we have to be able to cut on the ball of my foot that's much easier said than done a lot of guys when they cut on the ball of their foot they are weak because they lack ankle stability and single leg stability slash strength so that's what this drill works on in terms of like us having to drop my hips on a route like a curl or a cut back. So this snap fall drill, hands are going to be at your side, you're going to lean forward and you're going to lean with your chest and you're just going to fall. And at the last second you're going to catch yourself but you're not allowing your heel to touch the ground. You might feel a little shaky, it might feel a burn in your calf and your leg, that's a good thing. That's what we want because that's essentially the position we want to get to when I break. Your whole foot can be down when we're running a route or cutting but the first part is the ball of the foot and we have to strengthen that. So you want to do eight reps of that on each leg. I'm going to show you how this should look full speed. <laughs> Now this is going to be our 90 degree cone stick drill. So this works on like a 90 degree break, which is a dig or an out route versus man coverage when you have a DB right on your hip. So let's say quarterback's over here. I got to run an out route towards the sideline. I'm about to break. I want to do a hard cut and push off of that foot to be able to separate from that DB, but also to make a sharp cut. So this drill kind of works on that specific movement, if you will. So you need one, two, three, four cones set up about, I would say about five yards apart. And so it's bam, bam, bam. And this like kind of L-shaped pattern. So what you're going to do, you're going to start with your right foot up and we're going to be doing about four sets of this on each side. So set go, we come off. It's going to be one, two, on the third step. That is when you are cutting from cone to cone, all three cuts. You are only taking three steps. Okay. And on the third step, we cut the next step that would be counted as one. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Then we're coming out. If you have a quarterback, he could give you a ball on like an out route, a dig, however you want to think of it. But that's the drill. It's nine steps total. I would recommend jogging through this first to make sure that you get the steps down but it's three steps three steps three steps in and out of this break <laughs> 
Now this next drill is going to be pretty much the exact same drill, but we're going to be adding a step at the top of this break and actually running a post to work on a move called a rocker step. So a rocker step, like so the last drill, or the one similar to this one, we were talking about that stick, right? So I'm running, DB's on my hip, bam, one cut and then I'm out of there. So a rocker step would be like essentially two sticks at the top of the break. So you would just go one, two, and you could use that rocker step. You wanna step in the direction you're going first, kind of like that crossover that we showed in the very beginning of this video. But that rocker step right there is a way to make that DB think that you're running a corner, running an out and then doing the opposite move. So we could use that rocker step on an out, a dig, a post, or a corner. So it's gonna be the same rhythm of the steps. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, same first cut inside your frame. You're pushing off of it four, catch yourself, and then we're coming back over here on a post. So you wanna do, I would say, about four sets of that going each way. We're gonna show you how this should look full speed. Now also, fellas, if you're a receiver and you guys would like a daily training schedule with specific drills and gym exercises, very similar to the drills that we've given you in this video, check out that second link in the description below for our elite wide receiver training package. It's a two month long daily schedule for receivers where we break down the exact drills to do, gym exercises to do, give you the exact sets and reps and a video example of each drill and exercise. We map it out like Monday you're doing this, Tuesday you're doing that, so it's a great plan for you guys to improve your game. So second link in that description below, fellas, if you're interested.